Next question is from She Beast Sarah. Are there any discussions or topics you guys have had that you each completely disagree on or can't come to a collective conclusion on you know we we used to disagree more at the beginning when we first started mind pump but eventually i convinced everybody <laughs> <laughs> we've all come around to yeah, become so sal a, now lot, we all agree a lot of times the the disagreement even back then i think because i i remember i i was probably the one who i tried to challenge sal there was a lot of times in this podcast early on where i and i still kind of do this probably not as much that i i will challenge argue or debate and it's less that i just disagree with what you're saying. I'm always trying to think about what everybody else is thinking. Yeah, you're trying to voice other people's opinions out there. Yeah, it's also a great way to to, to learn and to really... Right. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, I want to hear you elaborate. I know that you're such a great communicator, and so you'll say things, and I know that I've trained hundreds of clients that I've had to go deeper on that subject or that have challenged that with me, and so I'll come out sometimes and challenge something that he's saying, not so much because I disagree, but because I know that there's a lot of people yeah. that are thinking in their head that they don't agree. And so I want I want him to explain deeper and us have more dialogue. Um, the only thing that I, we, we probably challenge each other the most on things that actually don't make the podcast that are more centered around the business. Like I think yeah, the, I, totally. I don't, we don't really disagree over fitness and nutrition stuff. Yeah. I mean, yeah, if I you've think. been, if you've been doing fitness long enough, uh, like the three of us, you, you you begin to kind of come to the, all the same conclusion. It's mm -hmm. what what we find with any of our peers too. So yeah. you know when we link up with a Joe DeFranco or a Ben Pakolsky or a Ben Greenfield, people that have been doing this for decades, uh, there's not a lot of stuff that we really disagree big time on. I mean, there, it's science uh, application and then uh, you know experience. And when you got all of that for that long, you all kind of come to the same conclusion. Now maybe we have different strategies like there, there we definitely have uh when we talk a lot on the show you know the way we coach somebody maybe there's things that i focus more on justin focuses on something else sal does that are a little bit different but mm -hmm. i don't think it's uh, areas that we necessarily disagree no. with. and even even when it comes to the, the you know because this is something that um we all practice i think this is a very important practice as well it's very valuable because inevitably when you work with partners you're going to disagree at some point on something. It's just the way it is, okay? People are different. You're going to. Mm -hmm. um, but at the end of the day, when you decide to move forward, you all have to adopt it as if it was your own idea. This is very important. We've made business decisions that not all of us agreed on that didn't work out or that did work out or whatever. At the end of the day, if we're sitting here arguing or debating what's a better option and how should we invest this and what should we do here – and we all decide, okay, that's that's where we should go. We all accept it as our own idea. This is very important because it's not necessarily as important if the idea succeeds. It's not hard to adopt an idea that succeeds. That's really easy. Like, oh, you know, I know Justin came up with that idea, but I'm part of it. And now that it did, it crushed. Yay! You know, I, I'm yeah. glad we did it. Right? It's when an idea fails, which is going to happen too. Mm -hmm. If you're, I mean, if you're, look, if if you swing your bat enough, you're gonna you're gonna strike out and you're gonna hit some home runs. So it's very important that when we move forward or when anybody moves forward, if you move forward with your partner, that if they have an idea that they are totally for, you're not really sure about, but then they eventually convince you, now that you're moving forward, accept it. Because if it fails, that's when the partnerships get stressed. What you don't want to be is in a situation where an idea fails and then the your partner Everybody or whatever- piles on. Yeah. You. Oh, I knew it. Yeah. I told you. Uh, that was supposed- because what that what is that going to do for the future? Well, that's going to prevent P us from moving forward with strength and confidence and unity. It might either make you feel like you can't voice your ideas, or it might make you feel like now you can't agree with the other person's ideas because they didn't agree with mine. Mm -hmm. So that's super super important. So although we and we do we get in debates and stuff all the time. You're, you're right, Adam. It's it's never on the podcast now because it doesn't have anything to do with you know what we would podcast about. But at the end of it, um, you know, I, I, I mean, if I if we do something that I don't agree with, but we're doing it, I'm now it's my idea too. All right, yeah. let's do this. Usually, the only ones it's like we're speculating. 
because uh, like you said, most of the things that we know really align well with everybody's backgrounds. Like everybody has, you know, different experiences, training people and finding different nutrition ways to coach and, and behaviors that they focus on. But as we all present them, it's, it's funny how it all connects. It all, all those dots align and then you get a deeper understanding of, of what that truth looks like. Uh, so we're always trying to find that. So even if somebody brings up an idea, it's like, well, what are the other, things to consider with that idea you know what are other angles there that i could kind of pick apart but it's it's not really like a definitive like well no, no this is this is what it is because yeah. i i don't know that uh most of the time that we do have a different opinion it's that it's not fully formed no, yet. no i think you have to i mean look i'll tell i'll speak for myself i value uh us succeeding and i value our partnership more than i value being right oh all of us yeah. on that page. right so uh and that's that's a great That's a winning team. That is a mindset that will lead to success. If you value being right more than those things, you're screwed. There's no way you're going to possibly succeed. Well, it's really it's really hard for the three of us to 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 really disagree on something that we've each been doing for two decades. And and again, it's it's science related, right? It's just it's hard to have like a, a staunch difference of oh, I I yeah. totally disagree with what Sal thinks about this. And there there are that with the business because the business is so new, right? The business yeah. is ever evolving, and, and there's so many different avenues, right? That so a lot of times off air, what you don't get to hear is you know, us maybe arguing over like, no, I think we should put more of our focus here. No, I mm -hmm. think we should put more. And and the and the reason why we argue and debate is because there's uncertainty because none of us can say, I built this media fitness company yeah. before. And, <laughs> and, and, and so it's it's speculation. Yeah. We we think that this will happen. And what's great about that is, is Sal hit it on the head is that, uh, you know, we all buy into whatever we agree on, no matter if it was something I was pushing against and saying, no, I disagree. Once we agree, I own it. And if it fails, I still own it. And it's not, see, Sal, you were wrong. It's like, you know, none of us knew. We were all speculating. The best way to find out is to uh, agree upon something, take action, move forward on it, find out if it's going to fail or if it was the right decision. If it was the wrong decision, we move and we pivot the other direction. And the faster that we can come to agreeance on that and accept that, the quicker that we can get yeah. to the right answer. And plus, you know, you, you, you want to embrace uh, disagreements as, so long as, you as, again, you have a healthy partnership because... Look, uh, let's say you are very risky-minded. You are aggressive. You want to take lots of chances, um, and you want to throw caution to the wind. Imagine if your partner was exactly the same way, right? We can th we can think of the, p the, the risks being amplified. Well, what if you worked with a partner who was more cautious and conservative? Now you might have a little bit more balance. Now you might have a more balanced approach. So I mean, if we were all exactly the same, if there were, you know, if my, if my three partners were all exactly like me, or if, if they were all like Justin or Adam or Doug, you probably would not find uh, as much success. You would have less disagreement. You'd have no disagreement, but you'd find uh, less success. So um, you got to kind of embrace uh, embrace all of that. It's all part of the part of the game. And I also think it's hard. And this is why partnerships, whether you're talking about marriage uh, or business usually fail. It requires everybody to understand that. It's very, very difficult.